we just uh, hear more stuff uh, from uh, Christopher J. Patrick, and yeah, you know that pedophile, cyberbully, in league with uh, Ben Maza, uh, Alex, Dave, and other parties. And of course, he's uh, just going to you know, spread more lies. Uh, I moved on. Uh, I owe nobody an apology. Uh, you know, but he's guilty as hell for like you know he owned uh, you know child uh, pornography. Uh, yet he won't admit that he uh, robbed the homeless shelter in Melbourne. He won't admit that he's a toxic person as an ex. Ex-girlfriend uh, Ashley said he won't admit that. And yet we have uh, people like, you know, Alex over here who butt kisses uh, you know, Christopher. And of course we saw or like just, you know, this year, like earlier, um, he, he was uh, begging Christopher to come back to uh, social media, blah, blah, blah. And, of course, we have, like, this Denison guy who, like, you know, he's also one of those people who are just jumping in the fight blindly. He has uh, no... Uh, Logical information or actual evidence to uh, prove things, and yeah, nor does I uh, actually, uh, you know, think, think about it before, you know, just jumping in. And of course, they're just all hating on Ryan, uh, and Ryan did uh, make a good uh, video uh, earlier, and we have uh, Dave over here. You know, that idiot. Why wouldn't uh, he be here, you know? You know how cyber bullies uh, work, you know? They work together to gang up on people. And of course, you won't admit that he has, uh, his middle name starts with J. And then, of course, there's one post, uh, this one I'm looking at, uh, that Marco sent me that... I can't view because uh, Christopher blocked me from looking at that, but, uh, and of course, you know, the, I've seen uh, these cyber bullies that uh, always uh, had a tendency and a uh, liking to always call me by my last name, uh, thinking my uh, name is uh, Kim or, you know, like Kim Kardashian or Kim Basinger or, you know, other people like, geez, like. Where did he come up with these uh, stupid ideas? Like, God. I don't know how much uh, this guy's been drinking, but if he uh, does drink, uh, I do know that he has a smoking... Uh, yeah, he's a smokeaholic. Yeah, he's uh, po posted on his uh, Twitter that, you know, cigarette uh, in picks and, you know. Although he could never uh, outsmoke uh, Post Malone. Or even a Snoop Dogg or Willie Nelson or Cheech and Chong. And of course he that says in this post over here that he thinks that I do don't know the, do any research uh, yet uh no, I do my own. I look into things myself and also I uh, once people uh you know do stuff for me and I also uh look at it myself to see if this is legit and yeah I you no, know, release this information, and I still have my own copies. Yeah, that's how it goes. And I know, like uh, Australians, that uh, they do have like a like a drinking, uh, you know, alcohol. You know the pop. Uh, Group uh, five seconds of summer, right? Went on that family feud. Uh, you know, they were like uh, they were going head to head with uh, the chain smokers, uh, Rory Kramer, and uh, there were some other people. Uh, 
So it was uh, the Chainsmokers and Rory Kramer and some other other two people versus uh, Five Seconds of Summer. And uh, and the question was like, uh, what do you want to see uh, when you go to heaven after you've died? And uh, they were like, uh, you know, the Chainsmokers, uh, uh, Alex, Drew, and uh, Rory, and the others uh, doing like, Mentioning like family, friends, uh, pets, and you know, other loved ones, and they were like pretty good answers. And those were on the board. Yet, I believe it was uh, Luke from uh, Five Seconds of Summer. He uh, said alcohol, and yeah, that was a. Uh, and yeah, the Chainsmokers out uh, that team won. And yeah, and even a uh, comedian, uh, you know him as Fluffy, but you know Gabriel Iglesias. Yeah, he went over uh, to Australia to do some shows, and uh, he went to a bar, and yeah, they had really strong drinks, uh, as he mentioned uh, on. Uh, his live performances, if you ever watch uh, his channel, Fluffy Guy, you know, Gabriel Iglesias. So, and since uh, Christopher J. Patrick is an adult, of course, he's a... Uh, I don't know the legal uh, drinking age uh, over... Uh, Australia is, but, you know, normally with other countries, it's uh, between the range of uh, 18 to 21, so, uh, so of course, uh, he's an adult, so he can, uh, too, so, I don't know if he drinks, but, you know, since he does, I know some people who drink and smoke, or do weed, or, you know, some other stuff. And the fact that uh, he couldn't really uh, come up with uh, good, uh, meaningful stuff. And he was just you know, saying the same uh, old uh, stuff. Ben, Alex, Dave, and other people have been literally just been echoing and, you know, Though they make false claims, uh, no, they make these claims, yet they have no logical evidence for that. And sometimes, uh, you know, they'll uh, think uh, they're so tough uh, using some uh, words, uh, no. But, you no, know, it just backfires on you. And Christopher thinks he's going to win. Oh, Pales. He could never win against Ryan, nor could he win against me. Maybe all that smoking uh, really messed up your mind, or if you drink, yeah, that all messed up your mind too. And you're guilty. You're convict.